any future philosophers. The morning of that night owls, it was negative 20. So I definitely was worried about attendance and there were many points at which I considered canceling and basically every other event on campus was canceled. I just decided we'll go ahead and however many people show up, show up. And I was amazed that we got 200 people. There's a need for intellectual events that also let off steam. A lot of us are excited about philosophy because we've had exciting, frustrating conversations with our friends about the meaning of life, about what kind of lives we want to have, what exists. If you take a philosophy class, you don't get answers to this question. You learn to ask those questions better. But there's still something else you might want out of philosophy. You get answers to that kind of original freewheeling excitement. There's just an association between things being late at night and them being fun. I wanted something that would break people out of their usual habits. Here we have the philosopher asking the economist about should or shouldn't. <laughs> this is quite remarkable. <laughs> so if you think about what else you can do on a Thursday night at 9 p.m., you're probably not going to get much work done. Dinner's over. It's too early to go to bed. And here's an event that's happening on campus where you just get to sit back and listen to people talking passionately about ideas. You get to ask whatever you want to the speakers. Nobody's watching you, nobody's judging you, nobody's grading you, but you know, you get to ask your own burning questions. <laughs>